Good evening, everybody. It is Meteorology Ains Well for our cast here, guys, and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all enjoying your Thursday evening or afternoon. I do apologize for actually posting a lot later than I usually do. I actually had a, a lot of, um, I actually had some homework and I actually had a lot of, uh, Wi Fi issues coming in and it took a, a couple hours actually to fix or something, but we just got to fix like, um, a couple minutes ago. So, yeah. Again, I do apologize for posting later, but actually we have a lot of new updates based on the advisories, snowfall, even the radar. So this is going to be what we're going to be checking out basically today in this video. This is going to be one of the worst days that uh, the snow windstorm Aubrey will basically affect in the Midwest by tomorrow. It'll bring in some very uh, harsh conditions for the North Dakota area, but that'll be it. But again, this will be more widespread harsh conditions. We actually have blizzard warnings issued for North Dakota just north of Bismarck. So, yeah, you're going to have a whole lot of snowfall in these areas, up to additionally another foot in these areas. And we actually have more freeze watches. We're actually going to see some teens in the Texas area near Armarillo. That's incredibly crazy. So, yeah, it was when you guys think of Texas, now you got to think of the cold. They had this winter conditions, uh, snowfall, and, wet, and temperature wise is becoming more widespread across the country. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, guys. It really means a lot. I do try my best to post daily. I usually do. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll try my best to answer them. So without further ado, let's get in this video. So we are going to be looking at the National Weather Service right now. This is where we can find active alerts for the United States here. And we're going to be focusing on basically the blizzard conditions first. Um... Which is obviously the main issue right here. And the red color is where we... Okay, actually, um, the Epic Pen's taking a minute to load. It's always done this. Uh, but again, here we are going to be looking after the blizzard conditions out here in these areas for North Dakota. That is actually where we have blizzard conditions. We're going to have super duper harsh uh, weather. We're going to have at least 40 miles per hour winds. So we're also going to have visibility less than a fourth of a mile. So if you're driving out here, it's actually not the smartest idea to start driving in this type of weather. Because again, it's October. We're having blizzard warnings already. Don't remember the last time we've actually had this happen. So again, it's in the red for these areas in North Dakota. Again, for more the northeastern part, not for all of North Dakota. It's more of yeah, the northeast part. And then we also had the winter storm warnings that are continuing to move eastward as we uh, continue to make videos. And now we have areas for Fargo, uh, areas again, Bismarck. We have uh, the Imperial area out there in South Dakota. And we have that northern tip of Nebraska and the northwest part of Nebraska. And then we still have some areas near the uh, Wyoming area that have winter storm warnings. Like I said yesterday, I knew these areas and uh, wind storm watches were going to get wind storm warnings. And that did happen. And then we have a little bit, little row right here with Woodstorm watches, not as widespread as yesterday. And then again, we had the Woodstorm advisories all the way into the uh, southern tip of South Dakota. And this is also going to be a new t talk uh, uh, topic. We also get have the freeze warnings and actually hard freeze warnings too. And the um, the light blue, we have freeze watches all the way and all the way into the areas of the southern uh, bend of that area uh, for ten, or sorry, Texas. The uh, little area tip of there, that's all the way crossing many areas. Des Moines, Oklahoma City, Springfield, Madison, Wisconsin. You guys are all getting freeze watches. And then we also have freeze warnings in the dark blue. That's actually be affecting many areas near Kansas. Uh, sorry, for or near Topeka, Kansas. Or no, not Topeka. Uh, the Wichita area, area south of Denver, Lincoln, Nebraska. We have areas near Santa Fe, and we also have uh, areas near the Four Corners area getting some very cold conditions, harsh conditions. We're going to be uh, actually winter conditions, the heart of winter conditions in October. So this could be a sign of a very, very... Uh, Obviously, cold fall. We do have hard freeze warnings. So, we're actually, I actually looked at this specifically, and we're having nine degrees near areas of Boise City in Oklahoma, and that little tip. And we have areas near Santa Fe, Armarillo, and we have areas for the uh, near Salt Lake City also having these. And we also have severe weather since it is a bit warmer in those areas. Now that we took some time into the advisories, we're going to be looking at the radar. And we don't, we, we only have to look at the Midwest radar, which is actually. Uh, not as time consuming and as you can tell we have a whole lot of snow right here 
this is again where we have a just south of the blizzard warning i actually won't be surprised if we issue some blizzard warnings for southern tip of north dakota near southeastern north dakota i won't be surprised and also we actually have a huge threat with ice uh near nebraska stretching all the way up to fargo again we're having a lot of rain for areas in minnesota and wisconsin because they will be uh warmer obviously we're gonna have a lot of rain there but as it moves eastward we could have a lot more snow for areas in north uh minnesota actually all the way into minneapolis we can have some flurries maybe up to an inch again we have a lot of snow for bismarck all the way into that tip of nebraska this is the next six hours as we move on to tomorrow we will have again that snow come in and moving into near northern wisconsin near the Min minneapolis area we will start to see possibly maybe uh, a mix of snow and rain and then you're, again bismarck fargo these areas of south dakota will still be getting some snow in the areas it will be a bit lighter tomorrow obviously it won't be super duper harsh like today like i said today could be the worst day but again these areas out here into aberdeen south dakota watertown south dakota you guys will all be seeing incredibly heavy snow today throughout early tomorrow as we move on to later on Saturday, that's when we had that snow start to bring in a bit more widespread for Minnesota all the way into Duluth, Minnesota. We'll start to get heavier snowfall into Saturday. You guys won't be seeing too much today, just rain but as we move in the weekend. And then by Sunday, it actually brings them some snow actually near Madison, Wisconsin. So if you're in the university, you might guys want to watch out there. And then we could have another system coming in. Now we're going to be looking at, actually, no, that's actually the wrong one. Let me actually pull out the European. Okay, so I got the European model out. I thought I had it. Um, but again, the next six hours for the European model, we're actually showing a bit more of a snow into the Denver area. We actually might have some more snow based on the a European, we could have a, actually pretty heavy snow out there. Actually, I don't know what that popped out. But again, we're actually have very incredibly heavy, heavy snow out there. And the heart of the snow will actually be a couple miles west of Fargo, including Jamestown. You guys will get in the heart of this heavy snow, maybe even near actually just near Grand Forks. If you're in there, that Grand Forks area, you will be getting some snow near Petersburg. You guys would actually be in that po possibly that darkest blue. So if you guys are near Petersburg, here our guys are gonna de definitely gonna be seeing maybe three inches an hour, maybe even more. Again, <coughs> sorry guys, that's where we actually had the blue. And of course, the western part for the Dakotas will obviously be lighter snow as it is moving eastward. Uh, but again, by Friday again, we'll be seeing inc uh, this incredibly uh, heavy snow move northward. So it's maybe near. Grafton, uh, North Dakota, which is actually around right here near Grafton. That's where Grafton is. If you guys are near Grafton, it will actually move in in that area from Petersburg out there to Grafton again. Also, Fargo. So you guys will be seeing some lighter flurries compared to today. And then again, tomorrow, or sorry, Sunday, we can see some snow maybe moving into the Minneapolis area. And again, we're going to have that mix. So now we're going to switch this for a second. We're going to be looking at the GFS radar or snowfall first. Let me just flip it. Okay. So this is GFS again. GFS is actually favoring a little bit less snow for North Dakota and South Dakota to come. We haven't had extremely that much snow yet to come for North Dakota or Northern South Dakota yet. As you can tell, Nebraska is basically over for now. At most, additionally, another three inches at most. Uh, but again, we have a bit less snow based on the GFS for the North Dakota area again near the Grand Forks area and again obviously near the Petersburg area and of course Grafton but again we're just gonna have we just see compare these models here again we have up at uh, mat, uh, maximum 28 inches for that tip literally the tip of Canada and North Dakota again we also have some areas out there near the Six Falls area and just including uh michelle south dakota you guys won't see that much additional snow maybe up to five inches again that sounds like a lot but uh again it's compared to what you guys are going to experience and then we also have areas near the areas of aberdeen again you guys will definitely be seeing a lot of snow near aberdeen you guys will see it right here around maybe nine inches of snow and then these areas in the actually the um the areas that will be in that tip right here there's actually not a whole lot of cities there i've actually looked we have near 
uh, Wobbies, which is actually a weird name, and we also have Ortley, but those aren't really big cities, um, like we mentioned, Aberdeen's a bit bigger and all that, but we have some smaller towns that could see around additionally another 18 inches of snow, and then we have a bit less snow for eastern North Dakota, which again is under blizzard warnings, only up to 18 inches. Now we look at the European, oh, we have a whole lot more snow. Like I said, maximum 28 inches, which is on that border, but look at the European now. European is actually somewhat actually very, I can actually agree a lot with this European. I wanted to go to the European on this one. As you can tell, we have again, period or pure under around additional another five inches maybe even at most seven inches if you guys get lucky again nebraska you guys won't see too much at, at most three inches right here like i meant on the gfs but actually it does show a whole lot additional snow to come in with the european here and if you look how much snow how many more days Today, tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, four days. I think we'll definitely get more than 28 inches on the border. And again, the maximum is for a second. Okay, I apologize, guys. My computer's actually been acting up very, very weird right now. It's actually racist. But again, up to 34 inches maximum. And that's right here in Canada. But if you look very closely, we're going to have 27 inches in that little light color, which is actually going to bring in up to 32 inches right here for many areas in North Dakota right here. All of this area, we're having 32 inches. So, again, if you live in these areas and you're just a couple miles away from uh, Grand Forks, you guys begin the bullseye again. Uh, Grand Forks, Fargo. Fargo might see another 8 inches of snow, which is actually actually a, a good amount of snow. Uh, areas near Huron, North Dakota, you guys will be seeing, or sorry, South Dakota and Huron, you guys will be seeing another 3 inches. As we move into North Dakota, again, near Jamestown, Jamestown will actually get around 20 inches left to come so yeah as you can tell we have a whole lot of snow to come to the midwest no matter what or northern plains but i hope you guys enjoyed the video and bye guys